For much of the year, we're covered in snow, and instead of just shoveling it, researchers have figured out a way to make the most of it. They've invented a new device that can generate electricity from snow. Joining us now this morning is Ravi Selvaganapathy, uh, professor of engineering at McMaster University. Uh, he's on the line. Uh, Ravi, we have a picture of the device, which uh, we're going to show everyone now. Your team called it the snow-based triboelectric nano-o-generator. Now, tell me what that really means and how it works. Um, so it's a very simple device. It goes back to the origins of electricity when uh, uh, rubbing two materials together generated separation of charges. Um, so often what we find is that uh, we get shocked in the winter when it is dry, when we come into contact with a conductive surface like a doorknob. And this is because materials like certain kinds of charges and they get charged up when they come into contact or abrasion against another material. Right? So the, we are exploiting exactly the same principle, except we are extracting the charge from the snow. Snow tends to be negatively charged. And as it falls down, what we're trying to do is to use that charge in order to influence another charge in the device or uh, to extract that charge so that we can power up uh, other electronic devices. Now, we saw we had a very easy chart there that showed snow is, uh, with their, its charge and then silicone with its negative charge equals yep. electricity. Easy to know. What are the potential uses for this device going forward? So the uses are where in remote areas where it is not possible to uh, come up with an electrical uh, line, a supply line. Uh, in those situations and also in situations where it's not going to be sunny, to, like, in, like in Canada, but where you have a lot of snow, we can extract energy from the environment. And these are going to be useful in uh, powering up sensors in the environment. So what we are seeing now is a trend where sensors are being incorporated into uh, what we wear, into our homes, in order to monitor a lot of the things that are important to us. We are also going to see this trend extend into the environment, and we are going to monitor this environment to see what is happening, and then take appropriate and corrective actions. And these kinds of devices, which extract energy from the environment to power up sensors and sensing systems, are going to be very important in that. Well, you could even drag it under a snowmobile uh, rubbing against the snow. Now, what has to happen for this technology to be out there en masse? What we have shown now is a proof of concept. We need to develop this further uh, so that we can optimize it and extract more energy than what we could do presently. We also need to integrate electronic systems in order to uh, use this energy in an effective way and transmit these uh, signals from sensors and, and devices to uh, people's cell phones so that they get this information. Um, so that kind of a collaboration is needed. We also need a commercial partner in order to extend this technology to a variety of applications. All right. Well, thank you for this, Ravi. I can't meet, wait to meet you in person. Maybe we can uh, test this out next winter. Thanks a lot. Glad to be on the program.